making his way into the Soyuz craft earlier this afternoon. This was Hopkins' first space flight. And there, a, a quick look at uh, Oleg Kotov saying farewell to Koichi Wakata, who he passed command of the International Space Station to. Again, Wakata staying on as the commander of Expedition 39. Uh, following that, uh, Kotov ready. You can see uh, Rosansky, his fellow Russian cosmonaut, uh, also uh, former rookie flyer, no longer a rookie uh, anymore. That hatchway being closed between the International Space Station and the Poisk module. The Space Station was flying just over the northeastern portion of Mongolia. And then right after, by a little over half a meter per second, uh, this done when the craft was a little around 15 to 20 meters away. Have um, reported touchdown. There you see the central screen uh, in Kazakhstan, or in the Russian Mission Control Center, uh, reporting they have landed. And that sign, uh, roughly translated uh, in English, says this is the landing site of Soyuz TMA-10M, uh, the designation for the Soyuz craft. That's great. Just again, a replay uh, as they were preparing to extract the crew. Uh, the extraction stand in place over the Soyuz craft there. And then last but not least, getting out of the Soyuz craft, NASA astronaut Mike Hopkins. He's, he's there. You can see him uh, coming down off the Soyuz craft and being carried uh, over to his waiting seat. Big smile on his face. Mike Hopkins also completing his first space flight. Move over here. Uh, but the search and recovery forces foregoing that uh, in order to just uh, get the crew and the recovery forces out of the cold as quickly as possible. Oleg Kotov throwing on a cap with the Expedition 38 patch on it. A big smile for him as well. The crew uh, covered with blankets. Uh, as mentioned, temperatures hovering right around zero degrees Fahrenheit. Mike Hopkins getting a chance uh, to get one of the set there in the middle. Mike Hopkins smiling there on the right. Sergei Rosansky on the left. The three have been carried out of the Soyuz at this point.